What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today we have the 650i, the 135, and this is Rocket over here. In today's video, I really wanna figure out the extent of the damage. I don't know if you guys saw also in the last video, we got an oil light, yes, an oil light, but not for being too low, but for being too high. So, I think the previous owners tried putting in oil, thinking that was the issue why the car was not cranking over, and now it has too much oil. So, now that we got the lifts up and running, we're gonna go ahead and put it up on the lift, drain the oil, change the fluid, maintenance before mod, and then start taking apart that front end, because I found a guy down in uh, Sacramento, which is actually not too far from us, that has all the front end parts that we need. So, we're gonna hopefully go pick that up as well. Anywho, anywho, very excited stuff. I'm really happy at how far this build is going so far. Runs, it drives, it shoots. Shifts, everything is pretty great in the Navy. Let's go ahead and get these two garage doors up and get this rocket ship and this 135 out of here. But the main goal of today is to actually get that car up on the lift, diagnose, see the damage is, because I don't know if there's anything more, I don't know if it has a rear main seal that's messed up, I don't know if the transmission is significantly damaged, all I know is the car ran and the car drove down the block and back just fine with an oil pressure light that's saying it's a little too high. Let's get this car up, assess the damages, drain the oil, do an oil change, and maybe start taking apart this front end. Look who just happens to make it. We got Johnny McJohn over there. He's gonna be helping us out today. So Jonathan actually detailed the exterior you guys saw from the last video and also detailed the interior. So the car is looking super good. Shout out to Jonathan for that. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit more cleaning today, but let's put that towards honestly the end because we're probably gonna step in this car a lot. So we're probably gonna do that towards the end. But today, dude, I got the hookup on all the parts. You did? Got the hookup. Oh so let's just get this car up, do the oil change, and then just see what's going on underneath. For sure. Let's do it. I'm down. Will this thing start, guys? I have no idea. Dude, this thing is I told, solid. You, I told you, dude. I told you it'd start. Oh, <laughs> Look at this thing. By the way, somebody, I saw in your comments of your video that you just posted, if these are 19s, then they're real M6 wheels. It says they're 19s, so it's possible that they're real. Real M6 wheels? <laughs> I, I mean, why so. would they make aftermarket M6 wheels? I don't know. Uh, you, you make aftermarket like... Right? Yeah, this is sick, dude. Come up. Dang, dude. I want to take these wheels off and clean them properly. Who the heck is This thing is so nice, huh? It really is. Don't be crashing your car over here. Oh. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Close. Really close. Dang. Oh, hard, I know it's still cold. it's still pretty cold. cold. The windshield's kind of throwing it off the the it's hood. Like I completely forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> All right, here. Let me help you. Perfect. 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 Uh, actually, come forward a little bit. Come forward. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that so was the first rough idle. Yeah, it just it's started rough oil. Dude. It's too much oil. All right, let's go ahead and drain that. I don't want to drive this anymore. There's probably so. gonna be a ton of oil. Ooh. Imagine has like bro. Okay, so it says uh, preferred 10W60, alternative 10W40, 5W30, or 10W50. So maybe there's 10W40 somewhere. Probably that's more likely. That's probably better for it. If it calls for 10W60. Right. Yeah, alternative uh, 10W40. So okay, worst case if we can't find someone, let's put some 5W30. Yeah. Like worst case. But it says, it. I mean, 5W30 works. Yeah. No, I'm sure I it mean, will. Uh, the filter in this car is actually in the bottom of the car. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call somebody to get some new parts for this car. They got the car and the, dude, we got a lift. This is crazy. Okay, I just wanna give her another shake test real quick. All right, we're good, we're good. Um, What is this? That's a little trippy. Oh, that? shit. Bro, get a new belt. That's probably what was squeaking it's then. Probably, definitely what was squeaking. So he needs a new belt. Oh my god, do you guys see that? Make sure they can see it. Let me put the light on. Here. No, they can definitely see it's torn right there. Dude, it's like, yeah, yeah, that's actually really bad. We should not be driving it anymore. Okay, no, okay, we're we'll gonna get a new belt right now on the I way know. back. Um, we gotta get oil. Where's the filter? So, here's the filter right here. Hold up, what is this? Oil right there. There's no belt on this. That's a good, that's a good point there. And there's no belt on this one either. I think there's a serpentine and uh, we're gonna have to look up all the belts for this car. It's missing a belt right there, that's mint. Um, and like I said guys, filter, oil, everything here. Um, Cat's back, pretty good. Uh, transmission's not leaking, which is great. Yeah. Uh, what is this? The rear main seal might be leaking. It doesn't look too bad. Honestly, like right here, there's not much oil either. Yeah. It's mostly up front, which is, oh, right here. Something's freshly leaking from here. Could be, nah, it's oil definitely. Um, gotta get some belts, and let's do the oil situation now. You wanna drain the oil so we can leave it draining no. while we're gone? Yeah, sure. All right, so let's go ahead and drain okay. it. All right, careful, you don't get the tools wet. Guys, that sounds so weird. This is a 10 gallon? No, I mean five gallon, yeah. 
So Five gallon tank. Oh, it's leaking. Oh my god, look at that stream. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I've never seen a stream like that in my life. That looks <laughs> fake, dude. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's going down quick. Oh, thank god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit! I, this is the first time we've used this yeah, guy, so... Don't, we don't know what the hell is going on. Dan's an M3 just pulling out of nowhere. Hold up. It's my boy from Foreign Bill. He's gonna go ahead and just show you guys a little sun, son. Tag our YouTube channel. Huh? Tag our YouTube channel. Ah, uh, you know, maybe we collab next time. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and rip it, and, uh, we'll see a little sun, sun right here. <laughs> now that... <laughs> Is an E92 M3, boys. So. I want one, dude. I want, I want one, so too. Bad, I might get another one of those cars, because I honestly miss it, but it's got to be stick. That was a DCT. I have to have a stick one in my life. I miss my E92 M3, but anywho, back to another V8. This is a 4.8. It's kind of crazy. This is a 4.8, and that M3 is a 4.0. Yeah, that's kind of this thing's huge. Crazy. This thing's crazy. Anyhow, I want to hear um, a straight pipe, dude. I want to hear a straight, straight pipe, pipe too, guys. So straight pipe. Dude. We might have to do that soon. Anyhow, since so all the oil is drained out right now, let's just go ahead and put the two screws back on. Lower the car a little bit. Lower the car a little bit, and just remove this bumper to see the hidden damages. And then we gotta go pick up some parts. We gotta spend a lot of money today. A lot, a lot of money. We gotta get belts, oil, uh, front bumper, fender, airbag. We gotta get a bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and lower this car. Alright guys, so this piece right here, as you guys can see, is been bending with the hood yeah. from the accident. So we gotta see if they got this piece over there. I'm pretty sure they have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and offer them like 20 bucks for this. Or maybe even 10 bucks, right? We'll see. 20 bucks probably. Because God knows how much it's this like, thing is everywhere else. Like yeah, if you hold like, it like this. Yeah, it's, you can definitely see it's yeah, right there. It's supposed to be straight. Yeah, it's yeah. Bent. Um, Luckily though, up here, we came out pretty lucky. Yeah, no, this, this is the radiator support. Yeah. I would've had to remove the whole front end. This headlight, it's solid. It's That's solid. Good. So the tabs are good. I just have to replace this. I gotta replace yeah. the fender. Uh, only thing broke with the fender is right here. But then also the mounting yeah. is gone. So it is what it is. I'll take off the parts. The good thing is everything came with the car. So if you guys look over here, we do have a fog light. It came with all the sensors. Uh, what else was on here? That's about it, I think. Just sensors. Oh yeah, it had like, uh, you guys can see. I don't know if you guys know how much these sensors are, but they're like, 40, 50 a piece. That's like serious? 200 bucks, yeah. Oh my goodness. For my brother's Also, like we took bucks. these off too. We're not yeah. sure what these they are didn't exactly. Even connect to anything. They were just like sitting there. They were like, like it had this rope around it and it was just hanging off the rope. So I don't yeah, know. So we just, what does really? it disconnect that? <laughs> you know? I don't know what the, I mean, basic. Oh damn, what the hell? I mean, we can honestly just do this. Call it a day. We don't need that. Uh, but we need this. We need a bumper. We need a fender. We need some turn signals. For that. Give me a solid card. And then we'll correct the paint or wrap it or do we something. We got so much paint. Like, honestly, I've never had a convertible, guys, before on this channel. And it is but the we, summertime. We just did with the E36. No, but like that that top never went down. It never worked. Like, yeah. I've never had a convertible that actually, my, my, my two convertibles I've ever had in my life were both E36s. It never worked. <laughs> this it actually is works. automatic, works. Like, I think the V8. other ones are too old. You know, I've, I want to go full straight pipe, custom steering wheel, custom rims, suspension. I got a whole bunch of ideas for this wrap. It's good. Be a guy, this is summertime's coming up. Summertime. You know? We got we got to enjoy the summertime. Summer, so. You already know. <laughs> let's, just, let's, just, uh, let's just go ahead, head down, and uh, get to the. Let's, let's go. We get the parts. All right, guys. So we found an ATM. We had to swipe out a couple hundred bucks, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, so we just got the money. These $100 bills are like so brand new. I love how they look. But anyway, we just got the bills. So let's go ahead, take this down there. Hopefully get some new parts. Guys, we are pulling up. How far are we? Three minutes. Three minutes away. Um, He is literally, he had the exact same car as me. He has a black on black convertible. All the parts are the same. So I'm going to walk in there, a few hundred bucks, and be like, yo, I will give you all this cash for all these parts to see what he can do for me. That's how you're supposed to negotiate. Be like, yo, I'll give you all this money, you know, but I need all of this, yeah, you know what parts. I mean? Like, that's the only way to work it. <laughs> so we'll see how it is. Maybe he'll say, like, oh, let me get up all this, but this, I'll look up all the parts, see if it's a, if it's a good deal, and then we'll go through with it. But uh, let's see how far we are. I think we found the place. Uh, we'll check back to you guys what parts we get. We just got back in the car. We just pretty much got out of the shop, and, um... <laughs> We just bought the whole front end of a 650i in black. What? 
so dude what are the odds of it being the same color that we need and it's, it's it was 20 minutes away from us like i got the hood um the, my body shop was actually not 100 i said 100 in front of him the body shop told me that it cost 150 dollars to fix it um without paint and uh Really That's if it's metal. Turns out it's aluminum. Didn't know that. So that would have cost me a lot more just to fix it. We got the whole hood, which means I can sub parts on the original hood. We got a bumper that's slightly damaged. It's okay. We got a fender that's slightly damaged. It's okay. But we also got the airbag as well. So uh, we'll show you guys all that stuff when we get back to the shop. See you guys then. Just got back from Walmart, got some oil. So they didn't have any 10W60 or 10W40, but I called BMW and they said 5W30 high mileage will work. And then we also got, uh, I know we have to go with OEM, so I went ahead and started with the best aftermarket one. This actually costs just as much as OEM, 20 bucks. So um, O'Reilly says this is the best thing close to OEM and this is the best thing we can get other than OEM because everywhere else is closed. So we'll work with what we have. According to BMW, because I called them, they said this is just fine. So let's go ahead and do the full oil change, get this car down a little bit more and uh, start working on that front end. But wait, there's more. All right guys, so this is what we ended up getting. We got a bumper in pretty good shape black. We got a hood in pretty good shape black. We got a fender and it's cracked. I mean, it is what it is, but it's it's, it's a black fender and it's, it works. And then we also picked up an airbag, which is crazy. So this is pretty much everything we need to fully assemble the interior and exterior of the car and we need some minor things i need to pick up a turn signal on this side and i think i'm gonna stick with this one and just wrap over it i think i'm gonna tint it out because this crack every single one on ebay has a crack on this side i don't know why and the only piece we're missing to start putting this bumper on is this piece that goes right here which is that guy right there so i think i'm gonna go ahead and bend it and reuse it because these go for over 200 dollars and it's not that bad like i think we can go ahead and bend it back because you know your boy is not gonna go drop two three hundred dollars on this little metal thing we just spent $200 for a full-blown hood. All right, let's go ahead and unload everything. So, uh, as you guys can see, we're officially back with a whole bunch of new parts and uh, all the stuff I need for an oil change. So, we do need, it's missing one of the serpentine belts. It's actually like missing a serpentine yeah, belt. And uh, when I start first start up the car, it was kind of squealing a little bit. So we're gonna need um, pulleys and the other serpentine belts. We needed a whole kit. I'm gonna go ahead and order that from FCP Euro because I might as well get the warranty on that. Those tend to go back pretty often. So I'm gonna order that all online. Meantime, let's go ahead and put the oil in and everything and let's get this car started. So yeah, just go ahead and do that. So since we didn't use a funnel, we just dropped a little bit of oil. Not a big deal. It's actually very little, yeah. not too much. Um, so it's gonna be smoking a little bit, but not nothing too crazy. It shouldn't be. And then honestly, we should be able to take around the block. So right now, uh, we do want to start it up and just take it around the block to make sure everything is a okay. Damn, bro! I can't wait to throw on the new hood, the new fender, the new bumper. Oh my god. Okay, this thing's like a boat. All right, you're good. It's out, so uh, go ahead and just take it out for a quick little spin. Hopefully everything's good. I can literally hear the, the, the pulley squealing still. Yeah, so, we shouldn't drive it too hard at all. No, nah, we're probably not, uh, but we did an oil change. I think it's still saying the oil level is kind of high. Yeah, it is. Engine oil level too high, so uh, we're probably gonna have to get a new sensor. We drained all the oil from the two screws and replaced the filter, so meantime, let's take it out for a spin. Hey, hey. we're hitting the vert out here, guys. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yo, this camera <laughs> <angle>. <laughs> the angle is amazing. <laughs> the camera angle. I'm going at an angle as if I have a bumper. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Felt pretty good. Oh, really good. Did he did he reset the uh, adaptation for the transmission? Oh yeah, he did. He did, he right? Reset the adaptations, you guys, from the last video. So uh, it's supposed to be shifting a lot quicker. So we're about to take out for a quick little spin. I'm just letting it warm up a little bit. Um, <laughs> oh dude, my god, it shifts so way better, better, dude. Oh my oh god, my god. I can feel the speed, you know, the V8. <laughs> <laughs> Really good. Oh my god, okay. Damn. Yeah, the, the adaptations really messed with it then because yeah, yesterday was like three seconds for a shift going on. Anyhow, <laughs> um, yeah, the car yesterday was not like pushing at all. Like it was kind of slow. It was and super the slow. Transmission dude. was super sluggish. It took like three seconds to shift, like straight up. Like it took forever to shift. And just there it was like yeah, it's smooth. a second it maybe. It was really smooth. It was pretty quick. Oh, that doesn't, what is that sound though? 
I mean, it's not mint. Another thing I gotta replace, guys, is the trunk latch. Oh my god. He, we're actually using the emergency trunk release, so I need, a, I need really to order bad. a trunk latch, so yeah. it kinda sucks. Like, that button is not working, the button on the key isn't working, so. Moment of truth, is this the right airbag? We got this from a 550, yeah, right? 545. 545, but it is a Sport, 60. and I think it is the it, one. It, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same, so. Yeah. So that clipped in perfect. Yeah. Just no, go ahead I'm pretty and, sure it's the same. Shove it in there. Yeah. Yep, see? Just like that. Damn. Told you. It, it seems is to be clean. It is kinda ugly. <laughs> I don't like this the way this is. <laughs> You just ugly? roasted all of the, all of it, it, is, it is lightweight ugly. I, I mean, I think it is too, but I wasn't gonna say it's that. Kind of bulky airbag. But no, but it's it's actually pretty it nice. It might look a lot better. Oh, oh my almost, god, you almost died. Almost bro? died. Holy shit. <laughs> but have you even seen the non sports? The non sports no, are even no, worse. No, they're toxic. No, this is so not bad. This is, this not is bad actually bad. way better. Finally, so. have the logo, everything. Uh, we have that cleaned up. Dude, the screens and everything looks so mint. I know, dude. It's crazy. It's actually insane. Like, okay, if I, uh, this windshield wasn't cracked, this car would look like a brand new car. It would. Honestly. Plus the bumper. The and then we got everything. We actually got all yeah, the parts. It's so crazy, needed. dude. Bro, it's coming For together. Under, dude, this is so cheap. Guys, you're already adding that. <laughs> Hashtag support your boy. Support the boy. <laughs> Links down below. If you guys want to wait, 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 wait. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Oh, damn. Bam. Oh, right there. Save well. a BMW. Just for this video as well, I'm going to throw up a code right there. Use that code. I'm going to do 20% off the whole store just for just for celebrating the new whip and that the new whip. actually driving. So driving. 20% off all accessories, all the Save, save a BMW stuff. So yeah. support your boy. Support Cop your boy. Cop the merch. Cop the merch. Cop the merch. All right. So now we got the airbag in. Pop the battery back in. And uh, we need to head out. You guys saw that we got a brand new hood, a brand, well not, the hood is honestly almost brand new, that emblem is shit, but this emblem, better. Eh, it's, better. it's better, we'll use that for now, but I'll order a new one, I'll place an order on it. I went ahead and oil, oh, I just oiled the oil level sensor, so I just went ahead and took an order on that. Uh, we got the fender as well, and we got a bumper. I cannot believe the come up, like, and an airbag. Like, guys, look at this interior now, like, holy shit, that looks amazing. Um, Dude, this wood is beautiful. It is. I actually like it. Is that, I, I actually thought I was gonna like dip it in carbon or something, but I actually like it. If anything, I'm thinking to dip this in carbon and dip this in carbon because I don't like that. But other than that, we do need a trunk latch to get that to work. And then I'm gonna go ahead and call the windshield guy. What I wanna do, honestly, is tomorrow I'm gonna head out and get this car registered. I wanna at least be able to put it under my name and see if the paperwork goes through because obviously if it doesn't, your boy just took a major setback. But <laughs> hopefully everything works out. The paperwork was a little janky, but I do think it's gonna work. So we're gonna go down tomorrow, figure it out. I need two turn signals, left and right. So should I go OEM or should I go aftermarket? OEM is the same price as aftermarket, but obviously OEM and aftermarket. The reason I'm thinking about aftermarket is because they have the blacked out one, smoked out. I think those look pretty good. Let me know down below. Also, let me know what color you guys want to see this car wrap. Anywho, should we wrap this thing red? Interesting, I don't know. Um, or what? Should we murder it out? You guys let me know down below as well. Yeah. Anywho, me and Jonathan are gonna go ahead and take a few thumbnails for you guys. Uh, probably you guys are probably gonna see the thumbnail and be like, holy smokes, Nor. Like, that looks amazing. Yeah, because we just took it right now. So, anywho, I love y'all so much. If you guys wanna see the next part, make sure to smash that like button. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Peace out.